Hello everyone, welcome to In 5 Minutes. In this video, we are going to see the next problem on application of differential equation. So this is our question and this is a problem of electronics. But uh, people should not worry that this is a problem of electronics and we do not know any electronics or something. In this, we ne only need one equation and its condition to solve this problem. If Even if you do not know any equation of current or you do not know how to apply KVL or KCL, it's okay, you can solve this problem how to solve this problem the equation of the electromotive force in terms of current i for an electrical circuit having resistance r and a conductance of capacity c in series is this so this all these things are irrelevant to us we need only this equation so the hint will be find the current i so we need to find the current i at any time t so we need to find current i as some function of t Okay, so when we put time equal to one second, we will get the value of current something at t equal to one second. And when we put t equal to eight second, we will get some other value of current. So we need the equation of current as a function of t and all the uh, electrical parameters like resistance, capacitor and all. We need to find the current i at any time t. So we need to find equation something like this. And the condition is given when e is equal to e0 sin omega t and i is equal to 0 at time t equal to 0 that is when the time is 0 our current is 0 and our e which is known as electromotive force is nothing but e0 sin omega t so we need some equation in current in terms of current and time so consider this equation we have e equal to ri plus integration of i by c into dt so here if you see we have e equal to something but we want i equal to something so for that here we also have an integration so we will get rid of this integration for that we will differentiate we will differentiate with respect to t because here we have dt so we will differentiate with respect to t we get but before differentiating we are given that e is nothing but e0 sin omega t so here we substitute e0 sin of omega t equal to ri plus integration of i by c into dt now we will differentiate with respect to t so e0 is constant it will remain as it is what is derivative of sin omega t derivative of sin omega t is nothing but omega cos omega equal to r is resistance it will remain constant i i is the current so di by dt plus here we are taking derivative of this term and derivative integration will get cancelled and we get i by c so if you observe this equation this equation we can also write in the form of r di by dt plus i by c is nothing but e0 omega cos omega t I can take this r in the denominator so I will get i by rc upon r. If you observe this equation carefully, this equation is nothing but our linear equation in terms of i. We have the linear equation in terms of y which is dy by dx plus p into y equal to q where p and q are functions of x. So in this equation even if we replace y by t if we replace y by i and we replace x by t we will get this equation. So if we compare this two equation we will get p equal to 1 upon rc and we get q equal to this whole term which is e0 omega upon r cos omega so we all know how to solve a linear equation so if you see we do not need any uh, previous knowledge of electronics to solve this problem okay so all these things are ir irrelevant we only need to know what we need to find so in this we need to find the current so we have to write our differential equation in terms of current okay 